as obviously COVID-19 is here, a lot of people are spending more time in the home. And so has this, has this helped your brand? I imagine it has. People are a little bit more thoughtful around the yeah. sense and just like a, a sort of vibe in what is now their office, home, gym, everything. And so what has this time been like for you guys from a business perspective? Yeah, it's, it's the comfort economy is, I guess, what mm-hmm. they call it, you know, right now, which sounds like seating assignment on Delta or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, home fragrance category has done like really, really, really well, uh, or there's been a lot of demand for it through the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And it's really awesome to be able to create things that seem to bring people comfort during like a really kind of stressful time. It's a weird though, to like feel successful during, you know, a time when people, when sure. it's been like really, really hard for people. And as demand goes up, manufacturing and supply chain has been like more difficult. So you're dealing with like, you're walking a tightrope at all times. So we shut down wholesale altogether for a while. One, Mm -hmm. because all the major stores were like canceling, you know, their POs left and right, you know, with just with the total uncertainty. But D to C was just like, I think it was like March 15th or something like that. It was like, people were starting to like figure it out. They were like, right. Oh shit. Like, the tidal waves, like the tsunamis coming, like everybody better start like, you know, running for <laughs> high ground. And so when you looked at it over last year, it was like, GSC is up 500% to last year by the 15th. And then by the 17th, it was like our daily orders were up like a thousand percent to last year. And so we hovered around 12, up 1200 to 1500% in D2C throughout the entire year. And then it like tapered off with holiday a little bit just because like holiday is always good for us. So I think the whole year it's like, it's over a thousand percent increase from 2019 to 2020 in direct to consumer, which has been like totally insane and nuts. You know, our pink paper comes from Italy, Northern Italy. So, Mm -hmm. and then like the boxes is, are, are like put together in China, but everything's assembled and filled and all the fragrance comes from the U S and wax comes from the U S. I mean, it was like, China shut down, Northern Italy shut down, and then like manufacturing in the U.S. shut down. And during the pandemic, we just started pouring candles at home again. People who had worked at the candle factory that was shut down, like we set them up in their garages with like at home, like like mini factories, you know what I mean? And we were just like renting U-Hauls and dropping off oils and glassware and wax all over LA and like had wrote like a rotating shift of making candles at home. And we stayed open and stayed shipping for our D2C customers through the worst of the pandemic. And then we really, once the manufacturing reopened, we were able to really kind of like put some more gas on it. But 2020 was a, I mean, it was a wild ride for everyone. I actually feel like really blessed that we had to like focusing on the business, like allowed us not to like focus on all the horrible things going on, you know, it was a nice kind of like, just, I I felt really blessed that we didn't have to like just sit and watch the news all day, every day. And like, you know, just not do anything or not have anything else to think about. You know, it's funny, everyone that we've had on the podcast, it's similar. It's like every startup, March, April terror, and then they've had their best year or best months ever. And it's just because they just they leaned into the thing or the only thing I guess they could lean into, which is D to C or grocery or whatever their product was, or even education in the market while their products are being made and they're having supply chain issues. And so their whole Instagram just became about educating the consumer on their product and really cool to see it all work. You know, I think people uh, listening and people who want to jump into our entrepreneurship always think like, oh, well, because of COVID, at least I had a job or, you know, they, they had some security when in reality, a, a tremendous amount of people are going to, or have lost their job. And there's a tremendous amount of entrepreneurs, at least all the ones I've spoken to have, have done tremendously well and all of them feel bad about it, but it's just the reality. It's like when you have to survive, you find a way. 